It was a week like never before. You held all the power, Canada. You put Andrew and Sabrina up for eviction, and one of them is about to be sent packing. Big Brother Canada starts right now. Previously on Big Brother Canada. What? In a massive twist goes twist, you at home were named HOH, and you nominated Andrew and Sabrina, a move that stripped power from the First Five Alliance, which opened the door for the outsiders. And men Arlie could start playing both sides of the house. I'm in the middle of two big alliances. I've sat in the shadows for too long. Now I'm ready to come out swinging. In the Big Brother Business Class POV competition, Sabrina and Andrew had a rough landing. Oh my God. They don't want to go home. John was flying high as he won the power of veto. Yeah! Which meant major turbulence for the First Five Alliance. I think the First Five has fallen. At the POV ceremony, John honored Canada's wishes. They know what's happening in here far more than any of us do. Leaving the nominations the same, and Andrew and Sabrina in jeopardy. Tonight, which house guest will reveal a shocking secret? Oh, God, please. I want to be here, you know? Which first five member will walk out the door? We have the actual power that does not for him. That can everything. And which side of the house will ultimately take control? Look at the divide right now. It's more obvious than ever. It all starts now on Big Brother Canada. I'm stuck. <laughs> In an online vote like never before, you made the biggest move of the season when you nominated Andrew and Sabrina for eviction, two of the biggest power players in the house. John won the POV, but he decided to respect your vote and he kept everything as is. But now the power returns to the house. Tonight, our house guests are gonna vote out one of your nominees. So let's head inside the house and get caught up. I have decided not to use the power of veto. Ultimately, this is Canada's week. They voted who they want on the block. They know this game and what's happening in here far more than any of us do. Also, I have no idea who the replacement nominee would be. Could be someone who I dearly care about in this game, and it's not a chance I'm willing to take right now. This power veto ceremony is complete. <clears throat> I had the opportunity to change one of Canada's nominations. Decided not to. You're welcome, Canada. One of the members of the first five will go home, and that's what I need, some of the big dogs to start leaving so then I can come out of the shadows and do what I've been planning this whole game. Two of my closest allies have been put on the block by Canada. Now one of them will be going home, and that rattles me. The first five, as we know it, is pretty much over. I have to make sure that the bonds that will be left are as strong as they can be, and the secondary bonds that I've created outside of the Alliance are even stronger. I feel awful because I'm up against my closest ally in the house and my brother, my friend. And in another way, I feel OK, because I know it's not me going home. I feel very secure. 
secure. I do trust my alliance, and I do trust the other friendships I have in this house. But I just want to know where people's heads are at. I might be paranoid considering the situation or whatever it is, uh -huh. but I'm asking you only because I trust you. Uh -huh. After the POV ceremony, Sabrina pulls me aside. She says, Andrew and I are best friends. I'm not campaigning, but how are you voting? I'm voting for you. I'm pretty sure Sarah's voting for you, right? Um, me, Sarah, and John, I still don't know. Um, I guess about you, which is fun. It's like a friend thing, not like game, because he knows in the game I can't keep them safe. I am no one. You have John. He loves you. I know, I know he really cares about me as like a person. I know we're gonna be friends outside of this for a very long time, but when it comes to the game, I don't know. Sabrina's constantly asking me about John and I have to lie through my teeth about it because I really don't want people knowing how close we are in this game and that we would take each other to the end. Sup, Sabs? This is literally the worst possible situation for me. You know you're not going home. I, I think so, but I'm just scared because you never know. But... Well, it's obvious, man. Blocking the paranoia kicks in anyway. Yeah. But I guarantee you're not going anywhere. Yeah. It's kind of funny because she's like, oh, I never campaigned against Andrew. He's my best friend in the whole house. That's all you've been doing. I trust you. She's a liar. She lies to everyone. No one can believe anything that comes out of that girl's mouth. If she's fooling anyone, just goes to show how dumb you might be in this game. I also have to watch out for each other, okay? Seriously. There's sneaks in this place. Venomous ones, trust me. There's ways. I love you with all my heart, just please know that always. Can I will take fresh air? Yeah, of course. I'm up against Sabrina, who's one of my best friends in this house. She's an amazing girl. I would never campaign against her. I just can't do it. I'm not doing this to be, like, righteous. I just truly believe she deserves to be here more than I do. Don't be sad, OK, baby? Andrew is accepting his fate. It's just really strange and hard to watch. Thinking of him leaving is a terrible feeling. He's a genuine person and kind, and he cares. I care immensely about the people that are close to me. I would do anything for them. It's not all over you. <laughs> it's fine. You know, I'm a good person, and I know that about myself. If I lobbied to keep Andrew, I would be campaigning against Sabrina, and in this game going forward, I think that would be detrimental to me. I'm just going to spend some time with Andrew and plan what I'm going to do in the next week. I'm winning on Thursday. You're winning? Do it. With all of this commotion going on with the first five, I kind of need to bring Arlie back in and, and make sure that, you know, we're solid. So are you attacking everyone? What? Are you attacking everyone? What about what? Current situations? Like about what? I need to make sure that we kind of have an open line of communication and that he feels OK with coming to me with anything at all. You gotta give me more than this. I know you know stuff, and then when I ask you questions, you never ever give me anything back. And that really... We should probably just sit down and have a good talk. I can tell Kenny's the second best strategical player in this game beside myself. I make him spell it out to me. In my mind, this is the two big dogs going at it. I'm just telling you what it looks like. Okay, just having a conversation. Just want to find out where your head's at. So tell me where your head's at. Kenny has suspicions about me. But since I know Kenny thinks Sabrina's an absolute liar in this game, I just deflect it on Sabrina. I obviously trust Sabrina a lot, and I want to go far with her, but I know she's lying to me to better her game. She does lie. I'm afraid to say that to you, though, man, because it's Sabrina. Yeah, but Sabrina is Sabrina, and I'm me. You don't need to worry about that coming from me and going to her. I can understand where he's coming from. He might not want to voice his opinions to me or anyone else for fear of it getting back to Sabrina. It actually makes me feel a lot better, because I was hoping that's what it would be, and that's all that it would be. 
I'm with you. I'm with Sabrina. I'm with Sarah. He has no clue how deep I'm in with the other side because he wasn't doing it as a two bulls going at each other. He was doing it as a, I'm just a little curious. I want to reel you back in, which is way out of the realm of possibility. Coming up, we'll see if Andrew really has thrown in the towel. And one of the house guests will reveal a huge secret. Big Brother Canada is back on Slice right after this. Welcome back to Big Brother. Well, the house guests have been at your mercy this week, Canada. You voted to put Andrew and Sabrina up for eviction. Listen, it's stressful in there. You never know who to trust, but eventually you have to trust someone. Canada's still HOH this week, so we get an hour each day in the room. It's really exciting, something to take our minds off the game, and it's just so much fun to go in there. We got flannels and tanks. My kind of gift. Canada wants to reward you for being such good sports. You're all invited to a Big Brother Canadian camp out camping. Camp out. Yeah. Love camping. If I could camp all summer and never go home, I would. Garage doors open up, and we see the setup that Canada has given us. Well, we got some sleeping bags, we got some s'mores. I'm pretty pumped for the beers, to tell you the truth. I'm a have not for two consecutive weeks. All I'm looking for is food. I'm thinking hamburgers, marshmallows. I'm pumped. I'm not a big drinker. This house is driving me to drink. <laughs> Stay classy, people. Stay classy. <gasps> you guys! Social media people automatically everybody gets camera happy and starts taking pictures of everyone. A lot of selfies going on. <laughs> One, two, three. Big Brother Canada! Ah, cute. It seemed like one big happy family. All right, I got pee. But in reality, it's still the same old us. <laughs> During the slumber party, there's a clear division. The other side of the house, pretty much my whole Plan B alliance, goes, wanders off on their own. All I need to do now is hang out with the first five. I need to reel them back in and make them believe that I'm with them a million percent. Look at the divide right now. It's more obvious than ever. <laughs> I'm so pissed off. Funny or cute? Funny. Sorry, let's see him. God, your legs are so bony. Whoa. That's the lead thought. No! Yes! No! No! Just we'll so do, cool! We'll do one more funny it's one. Funny. After. We'll do one funny one after. Oh, Nana. Oh. What, my hair? Yeah. Maybe it's falling out. <laughs> The slumber party in the backyard gives me the opportunity to fortify my secondary bond with Rochelle. <laughs> when I do these little flirtations and, and, you know, touches and winks and all that stuff, she spills the beans a lot more. How do you feel about Harley? He's so nothing. <laughs> he's like, like Heather, but I'm sometimes I forget that he's here. Not a Heather because he doesn't like go around talking shit. He's literally just there. I'm gay. I don't have any romantic interest in Rochelle, but I am flirting with her to kind of strengthen our bond to make sure that if I need to call upon her, she'll be there. I'm already a jerk, so I may as well just live it up. Oh my god, you're so convinced that you're a jerk. I have no idea. I got nominated for camera. It doesn't matter. You're a strong player. How much do I love the chain smoke right now? <laughs> I, I will be in like three days. I don't know that. I'm getting a little paranoid that Andrew might have to vote to stick around. So I need to get in nice with them just in case that happens. Let's be serious. OK, well, let's write two votes for me. Allison and Kenny will vote for me to stay in the house. Don't roll over and die. You get votes, and I know that the house is split. I will vote to keep you 100%. If I convince Nana, they're 
there's four right there. There's a glimmer of hope right now that I might stay, but I still really don't trust John, and I don't want to campaign against Sabrina. Keep this conversation between us three right now. Was a dirty conversation. I actually don't know. What's up, baby? Not much. Oh. I feel horrible if Andrew leaves, but I also want him to be home with his family as fast as possible. Yes. Yeah. So. Come on. I'm gay. thing at first for like flirting because I was a bartender I was good at with women oh my god are you gonna tell people I don't know it's hard to hide who I am I just would love to be able to be fully me here <sighs> this is the first time in my life I've ever hid who I am oh my god I hate that for you though and it it was not fun for like a lot of it and I don't want people to watch this I know I know and do the same. I was accepted by my friends, my family. <sighs> and I know I'm so lucky to have that. If in any way, shape, or form coming out to these people in the house can give people the confidence to do that, and be themselves, and yes, I feel a responsibility to do that. Holy That feels so good. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. Um, I love you so much. I 100% feel closer to Kenny. I've always felt like he was the one I could trust, and him sharing this information with me does make me feel like I made the right choice. Oh, my God. Me lying about this. Do they, will they think that I'm lying about a lot of other things? Kenny's been a target from day one in this house, and the fact that he's been able to keep this secret is very scary. I'm worried that if they find out he's been lying, it would put a bigger target on his back. Coming up to Sarah is partly strategy. I know it'll strengthen our bond and our relationship, and that I can use in the game. But it is largely just me knowing and loving Sarah and just wanting her to know exactly who I am. I personally would rather you be who you are. I just think it just, it needs to be right timing. There is still a possibility of flirtation by being straight. And Rochelle is one of those girls I can tell. She's feeling my vibe. I just needed to get it off my chest for now. So would you date John? No. <laughs> no like that. that was a big move by Kenny, but was it the right move for his game? We'll talk more about that coming up on The Sideshow. But right after this break, we'll head to Newfoundland and catch up with the families of Kenny, John, and Allison. Big Brother Canada is back right after this. Welcome back to Big Brother. Hey, don't forget, every week, the brick gives you a chance to choose something for the HOH room. Vote for this week's Get the HOH Look item at bigbrothercanada.ca. Well, three of our house guests call Newfoundland home, so John's family decided to host a kitchen party. Take a look at how three families on the rock are dealing with having a loved one inside the house. All right, 
Big Brother, this is how we do a kitchen party in Newfoundland style. In the year of our Lord, 1806, we said My name is Craig Parody, and John is my, proud to say, my son. We're hosting Kenny's family and Allison's family. Between a, a little bit of music, some good food, we have lots to talk about. <laughs> the challenge with Allison and John? Oh, I died with the question no. marks. Here's my little G's. <laughs> I'm going to have my doors here. Don't want to be crazy. <laughs> My name is Janelle. I'm John's girlfriend. I'm definitely loving watching him on television. Don't worry, I'm here! John's lifeguard outfit was very funny. Little short shorts, <laughs> but he looked good. It was funny. Okay, I need you another coat on the way. Looks good, though. I think myself and Netta would be great friends. She seems great. She's definitely looking out for him, which is excellent. I'm very proud of him. Oh, great. Good lord. I'm Heather. Kenneth is my son, or Kenny, as Canada knows. He's a big softy. I'm like that. He's like his mom. His two sisters are like that. He's not getting enough hugs in that house. To hide the fact that I'm gay and, and be someone that I'm not, it wears on you every single day. It's just a very big secret to be holding. I miss him big time, and I wish you could hug and kiss him. One thing we do in Newfoundland is probably by our remoteness, we are close. Newfoundlanders stick together. I would love that Kenny, John, and Allison would be in an alliance. Remember me, brother! Newfoundland is watching! Don't you wish you were at that party? I do. Okay, from their house to our house, what would an eviction night be without some last-minute scrambling? Almost six mil. Holy The numbers are back on the screen. They're going up so fast. How high are they actually going to go this time before the diamonds start exploding and the lights go crazy? It's going pretty fast. Yeah. Wow, we're going to hit six milli. Praying it's another twist and it works to my advantage or my crew's advantage. So it's either one of us. Pump, baby, six milli! This six million is, is killing me. Six million, holy. Six million? What if I get a dollar for every vote? This could be amazing. Even if it's just votes, that's crazy. John Boy. Yeah. I'm just thinking. Say like you're on the block with someone else and I win POV. No matter what, I always want to choose someone that I know will use the veto on me. There will never be a situation this game where I will not take you off the block if I have 100 million percent. And we got to make sure Arley doesn't vote for Andrew. If he votes for Andrew, that could maybe f up everything. Like everything. It would be so stupid. Stupid. Anyways, all we can do is, f is win, win a joy next week. I want to be here, you know? I'm not throwing in the towel. I don't want it to look like that. I don't want to look like I'm giving up. Yeah. After the conversation with John and Allison at the slumber party by the pool, I um, want to speak to Arlie and just see where his head's at and maybe swing him uh, to uh, vote my way. Which way do you think you're going to vote? I was going to give my vote to Sabrina just because you were throwing in a towel, but I don't know what the house is thinking. I honestly haven't talked to people, really. I was going to talk to you about seeing if you'd give me your vote just so that I could... Uh... I can do that, man. I can work with Sabrina and I can work with Andrew almost equally. So if Andrew stays in this house, I have my bases covered. I have no problem at all voting to keep you. I definitely love you like a brother in and out of this game. I really appreciate it, man. Yeah, bro. Do you... Hmm? Do you think Gordo's rolled over and dead? I don't know why. I don't think he is. You're scaring me. What does that mean? The votes are up in the air, so I go to Sabrina and let her know that her buddy is campaigning against her. She definitely needs to wake up, open her eyes, and start campaigning. I don't think he's ready to go home right now. Just my thoughts. What does that mean? You think they're voting against me? No, I'm not. 
Yesterday, I was feeling 99% safe, and today, I'm feeling like 50-50. It's really scary. I know you said a thousand million times you wouldn't vote against me. I swear me, my God. I need you to understand that I would never vote against you, and I'll never put you up. And I gave you, I gave you my word on that as well. Do you trust me? Yes, I really do, oh, and I hope good. that doesn't f you. Though. It's not going to. Do you think they're trying to get votes against me and keep him? Who's they? All of them? I have no idea. I did not think it was going to come to this. Just keep doing that. I'm going to smile months, and right? do this thing. It's just really hard for me to be fake, but I'll try. I, d I don't know what to believe anymore. When we come back, we'll get to the vote. Big Brother Canada returns right after this. Big Brother Canada house guests are competing for a $100,000 cash prize, a $25,000 home shopping spree at The Brick, and a $10,000 trip of a lifetime, courtesy of our friends at Twistos. Welcome back to Big Brother Canada. Well, it's time to check in again with the house guests and get to the vote. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Okay, got a few questions for you, as always. Kenny, uh, you guys have been in there for some time now. Yep. Right? How, are we, how are we feeling about that? Anyone starting to crack up? Um, absolutely. You have no idea, actually. Uh, it takes a lot for me to keep it together every day. Oh, good. <laughs> Even good. right now. <laughs> uh, now, John, do you ever forget that you're being watched 24-7 because we have seen all of your bad habits, and I mean all of them. <laughs> yeah, definitely forget we're being watched 24-7. I find my hands wandering a lot more than they definitely should be. To put it um, mildly. Sorry, Canada, I guess. Mom, Dad. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, oh, I, I hate to get serious here, but seriously, guys, it has been a hard week. I know that. Mm -hmm. We've been watching. Canada had all the power. Sabrina, it has been tough, hasn't it? It's been really, really hard, especially when the person that you're up against is my best friend and someone I love very much. Mm, it's gotta be hard. Andrew, what's it like for you? Yeah, it's tough. I'd say it's like one of the hardest weeks I've had in my life, so. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, things are gonna change very, very rapidly now. Andrew and Sabrina, after Canada's vote, you are both up for eviction. Your housemates are about to decide who is leaving tonight. Before the vote, you each have 30 seconds to plead your case. Sabrina, you are first. As you all know, I love Big Brother since I was nine years old, and I am so grateful I get to experience my dream with people that I truly do love in spite of everything. Vote the way you guys want. Andrew, you have a heart of gold. I love you, and I hate the fact that today I am sitting next to you because you are someone that I wanted with me till the end. 15 minutes or die, and I cannot wait until I leave this house and continue this friendship. Love you, family. Mwah. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you. Andrew, it's your turn. Well, I'm up against someone I love and uh, that deserves to be in this game as much or maybe more than I do. It's going to be a difficult decision for some of you, but whatever it is, I understand and know that. And to my mom, my dad, my brother, and all my friends, I love you. And if I do go home, then I'll see you all for my birthday. Thank you, Andrew. So the power now shifts back inside the house. Andrew and Sabrina, you will not vote, but the other nine house guests will. They will each enter the diary room one at a time and cast their votes to evict. And remember, you can't talk to each other during the vote. Kenny, you are the first to vote. Please make your way to the diary room now. Hi, Kenny. Hey, Treasure. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Sabrina. Thank you. Thank you. Adele is up next. Hi, Adele. Hi, I vote to evict Andrew. Thank you. We're at 1-1 one, one and Rochelle is next. Hi, Rochelle. Hi, Canada. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. That's two for Andrew. And Netta's up next.
Hi, Netta. Hello. Please cast your vote to evict. I gladly vote to evict Andrew. Thank you, Canada. Thank you. That's three for Andrew now, and Allison is up first. Hi, Allison. Hi, honey. Please cast your vote to evict. Unfortunately, I vote to evict Sabrina. Thank you. That's three, two, three for Andrew, two for Sabrina. Coming up, we'll get to the rest of the votes and we'll find out who is being evicted. Big Brother Canada is back on flight right after this. Welcome back to Big Brother Canada. We are in the middle of the eviction vote. At this point, Andrew has three votes and Sabrina has two votes. And five is the magic number. Let's get back to it. John is in the diary room now. Hi, John. Hello, beautiful. Please cast your vote to evict. I gladly vote to evict the word hoarding, Andrew Gordon. Thank you. That's four for Andrew now and two for Sabrina. Arlie's up next. Hi, Arlie. Hello, Arissa. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Andrew and Arissa. I do have to say you're looking gorgeous in that dress tonight. Just thank you. You're welcome. Andrew's fate is now sealed. He has five votes. Sabrina has two. Here comes Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. Six, two now. And Heather is last. Hi, Heather. Oh, hi. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. So we know now that Andrew has been evicted with a final vote of 7-2. It's time to let everyone know. House guests, I have the results. By a vote of 7-2. Andrew, you have been evicted from the Big Brother Canada house. Please collect your things and say goodbye. Somebody. Let's hear it for Andrew. Quiet down. Andrew is in the house. Okay. So I'm going to ask you, you, you played actually a pretty stellar game. Thank you. Arguably, if it wasn't for this twist, you would still be in the house right now. Why do you think Canada nominated you? Thanks, Canada. No. 
Uh, I don't know. I know. A lot of uh, ideas running through my head. Uh, at first, it's like maybe I played the villain role, those kinds of things. But, uh, you know, being up there with Sabrina and being my teammate, maybe it was the Alliance. So things like that. Yeah, not quite sure. Well, Why did you? <laughs> well, we are going to get to all of it. Okay, I promise all of it. We'll have a full interview with Andrew coming up in just minutes on The Sideshow. So let's hear it once again for Andrew. Coming up, we'll get to the next HOH competition. It's going to get messy, I promise. Big Brother is back right after this. Furnishings for the Big Brother Canada House provided by The Brick. Welcome back to Big Brother Canada. Moments ago, Andrew was evicted from the house. We'll talk more with him coming up on the sideshow. But now it's time to find out who will be named the next HOH. The stakes could not be higher. Earlier, Big Brother shared some less than flattering pictures of each of the house guests. Let's find out how they reacted to seeing some very sketchy mug shots. Let's claw my legs. What's on the screen? Oh my God! What is that? Like we're booked for something? Oh, Big Brother is showing us some sort of mug shots that we all look very intense and scary and hardcore. Why am I a thug? It was a good laugh to see everybody all beaten up and battered and criminalized. I wish half of them actually were behind bars because they're driving insane. Oh, you look hot. Oh, yeah, really though. Get some tattoos. You gotta get that green streak. Rochelle looks unbelievable. I definitely love it. I definitely think she should get some tattoos in the near future. You got something tattooed on your knuckles too, Arlie, you little perv. Two seconds after the pictures come up on the screen, I'm assuming this is going to be for a challenge where we're going to have to memorize all the different aspects of this picture. You don't think we have to know these dates? Dates, no. Allison's supposed to be a super fan of this game, yet she's explaining to everyone what they're supposed to be doing while they're looking at the screen. Pay attention to what we're wearing, colors. It's humorous to me because it shows me how little they think strategically about this game. Who was wearing a hat? Who wasn't? Stupid, Allison. You're in Big Brother. Don't just blurt out obvious things and help the other side. Yeah, well, <gasps> OK, that's that. This is totally for a challenge. It's memorization, and it definitely will resurface, I think, pretty soon. I wasn't even paying attention to it. Yeah. That's totally what it is. Hope they were taking notes. The house guests are in the backyard, so let's go to them now. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. It is time to find out who will be the next HOH, and yes, this week, it will be one of you. <laughs> this competition is called Big Brother Blindside. And this is how it works. Earlier, you were shown a series of mug shots of you and your fellow house guests, and I hope you paid close attention. I will now ask you questions about the mug shots, and the first person to buzz in will have the opportunity to answer. If you're correct, you can then blindside any other remaining house guest and eliminate them from the competition. If you are incorrect, you will be the one eliminated. The last house guest standing will be our next head of households. Any questions? Let's do it. All right. <clears throat> First question. True or false? In Rochelle's mugshot, she has a streak of green hair. Kenny buzzed in first. Kenny, is the answer true or false? True. You are correct. Who do you want to knock out of this competition? Take a second. Adele. Thank you, Adele. Next question, true or false? In Netta's mugshot, she's sporting a neck brace. Netta buzzed in first. Netta, is the answer true or false? False. You are correct. Heather had the neck brace. Who do you want to eliminate from the question? You can take your time. Kenny, I'm sorry. Thank you.
Next question. True or false? In Adele's mugshot, he has a tattoo on his neck that says, Virgin. Heather, you were the first to buzz in. Is that true or false? False. You are correct. The tattoo said, vegan. Who do you want to eliminate from the competition? I would like to eliminate, I'm sorry, but Sabrina. Thank you. Next question, true or false? In Arlie's mugshot, he's wearing rings that spell out thug life. Is the answer false or true? Okay, gonna move on to the next question. The buzzer failed. We just want to make sure we're getting it all right, okay? True or false? In Sarah's mugshot, she's wearing a green shirt. John, you buzzed in first. Is the answer true or false? False. You are correct. Her shirt is maroon. Who are you going to knock out, John? Allison, sorry. Thank you, guys. I'll be back to you in just a minute, okay? I hate to do this to you, but that does it for us tonight. Be here on Sunday to find out who wins this HOH. That's Sunday night at 9, only on Slice. And next week, it's a double eviction. Remember to check out all the Big Brother swag at the Cafe Press Store at bigbrothercanada.ca. That's also where you can get the free live feeds. So stay with us. We've got lots to talk about on the sideshow, and it starts next. And remember, someone is always watching.